Right, uh, another clip. It is Friday the 11th of August 2017 and uh, as you can read um, hopefully from my description of my channel, my YouTube channel, um, it's war game orientated but not necessarily exclusive too. So um, this has obviously got very little do, to do with war gaming but it's a Friday and as you saw before um, the old lubrication for the old brain cells uh, was from um, an alcoholic nature and this time we've gone back to an old favourite old crafty hen oak aged vintage um, can't beat it if you don't like if you like a proper dark beer um, this is amongst one of the best um, and you can't beat it really anyway and um, on for the meal for the evening a Welsh rabbit um, on this occasion it's red leicester can't beat a bit of melted red leicester on, on toast and um, topped off with a bit of horseradish. Now, those of you who don't like horseradish, like similar sort of thing, you don't like marmite, that sort of thing, um, you won't like this. Um, but, um, and, and it's just sparked off me memory, <laughs> amazing really, um, the horseradish is a little bit like wasabi, wasabi sauce, so I might try that on some cheese at some point, it might be quite nice. Uh, but the, the horseradish, what it does is just kick off the flavour of the cheese. It just gives it a little bite. So if you've not tried it, don't knock it. Um, and um, by all means, try it. But if you, say, if you don't like horseradish, you won't like it. So cheers for those of you uh, out there who are watching. Mm. That is just so malty and so nice. It's just a lovely beer. Anyway, war game orientated. Well, me toast gets a bit cooler. Um, terrain, scratch building, um, this is a little hut, a little like, miners hut for a wild west setting um, that I made um, some time ago, probably I don't know, five or six years ago I should think by now, um, but it, it's the old barbecue skewers um, onto some uh, foam core, um, now uh, some of you are quite familiar um, with that, with foam core and buying it from an art shop or, or wherever, Wherever your retail outlet is for that sort of stuff, or if it's a dedicated um, um, outlet, retail outlet, um, you're probably paying over the odds for it, your mugs. But um, no, no, we send that remark. Um, but go round shops where you see displays um, put out on this sort of material. Um, because when they close that display, because it's the end of that line, they throw it out. They just discard it. And you can get sheets of A2, A1, and a pigeon has just flown into the window. I wish I could have filmed that for you, but you wouldn't have believed it. Um, yes, so going back, just throw me. Um, going back to picking this stuff up for next to nothing. The same as the skewers. Pound shop, you can pick up like 50 skewers in a pack for a pound. Dirt cheap, um, and as you can see, it was a simple um, construction. Um, even the door works because I put it on some. Well, it's got stuck there with paint, so I might have to um, might have to fix that. Uh, but a bit of masking tape and inside painted black, um, so that it didn't show anything uh, when you were looking into it, as it would be dark um, if you were looking from outside anyway. Um, I've got to finish it off with a with a nice little stove and a chimney stack and that um, through the roof. Would be quite nice, I suppose, and a, a bit of um, uh, greenery, weathering um, um, weeds growing up, and that sort of thing, um, to bring it um, into a more natural looking state. Um, the crucifix of the windows, um, yeah, I made those, uh, I don't know why I did that, but you can get a similar effect. And wish I'd, I'd looked them out now, um, but the um, tile wall tile spaces if you get a packet of wall tile spaces which you get i don't know 100 or more uh, might be even as many as two or 500 in a packet um they'll do a fantastic job of doing crucifixes um whilst i'm on that tack uh, excuse me i'm out of shot i do apologize you may not be able to hear me but um Thinking of something, I'd started to scratch build this farmhouse for uh, like a bolt action um, uh, European setting um, with cork, cork tile, and um, I started to make the panes for the um, for the windows and that. Um, 
from matchsticks the, the you know the boxes the sorry the packs of uh, modeling matchsticks you can get uh, rather than cutting off the heads of matches etc um so a similar sort of thing um but um i thought if you use the larger um tile spaces um you could probably get a similar effect with that anyway but that's 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 um something for something else another clip um on waffling so apologies um but the old crafty hen hasn't yet had a chance to kick in um this is what i just tried this polaroid ix 2020n uh camera um bought it at argus for 50 quid 49.99 um i don't know why anyone says 49.99 because what you can do with a penny oh put a figure on it because you are 15 mil figure goes well on pennies but anyway um 50 quid and it's a pile of crap um i just tried it and there is no discernible difference irrespective of how good your lighting is between hd at 720p and full hd um, so um, I'm taking it back and getting my money back because it was a waste of 50 quid. Now you might say, well that's not very expensive for a video camera, so what do you expect? I expect a 50 quid capability camera. And when it says it's full HD capability, it should be capable of doing full HD without all whistles and bells having to be added to it in order to achieve it. Um, like reflective lighting and, and these uh, reflective umbrellas you get, etc. and the rest of it. So, um, a waste of 50 quid, so I'll get me 50 quid back, and if I have to pay twice or even three times the amount for a half-decent camera, then so be it, and it was an interesting exercise, but a waste of time. Um, so, at that point, um, I'm going to get on with my uh, evening meal, my Welsh rabbit with horseradish on, and close for now, it was a short, hopefully short clip, and quick one, and I shall be back with you um, as soon as I've organised something a bit more structured than what I've just done. Um, but it was to bring you up to date with what I've just tried for a camera, and it was rubbish, it was a waste of time. Um, and I wish I hadn't bothered now. Um, so, probably a couple more of these, and I shall feel much better about it. Cheers to everybody, your good health. Goodbye for now.